Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to poke cells right into your paintings. You will especially like this technique if you like cells but you're struggling to get them because this technique produces really well-defined cells and you can put them wherever you want. Now some people call this the chameleon pour technique. I'm not entirely sure where it gets that name from um, but I've always referred to it as poking cells into a painting. So for this you're going to need silicone oil and a pin. You can also use a toothpick anything with a pointy edge. Um, it doesn't have to be sharp, but it's just something to poke yourselves with. We don't want anything blunt. It's gonna carry a little bit too much oil. And um, outside of that, you need paint, pouring medium, canvas, your regular supplies. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So let's start by looking at the consistency of the paint. Okay, this is gonna be the recipe throughout all of our layers. We want it to be this thin. Notice how when I drizzle it, it doesn't leave a mound on the surface of the paint, it just sinks immediately. For your reference, this is known as a thin recipe. You would use this in maybe a Dutch pour, cloud pours, some of the thinner consistencies. For my part, I'm using a tablespoon, so we're doing three parts of pouring medium to one part of paint. And this will be the recipe throughout. My wet base uses the same recipe, it's just titanium white and pouring medium. And after I've spread it out, uh, I'm going to apply my colors. Regardless of which technique you use, the idea with the poking trick is that you need to have a color thinly spread over another. The top color has to be shallow, essentially. So today I'm doing a spiral swipe on the spin table. And swiping is a great way of achieving the criteria of a shallow layer over another, right? Um, you don't have to do the swipe technique, but generally after any technique is tilted around and the paint is spread out properly, the cri this criteria will generally be met by default. If it isn't, that's when um, you will poke for cells and nothing will happen. It's because there's either there isn't a second layer covering the first one or the top one is too deep. So the color I'm going to swipe with is it's the same uh, paint I was using for the base. I'm just going to put some on the back of the palette knife, spin the table, and get this little spiral pattern. Okay, so the swipe kind of creates the composition for us, this sort of twisty thing. And I'm going to use the pin to just kind of make a few swirls uh, in these areas where there's solid blocks of paint because these are the areas where if you poke, you won't get cells. So I'll just kind of create some swirly patterns here. And now we're ready. So I just put a drop of silicone on the mat next to me and I poke the pin into it. And I want you to notice how many times I'm gonna repeat this before I ever go back for more silicone. Okay, not yet. I haven't added any more. We're still going. That's that, still that first um, dip into the silicone oil. So really this actually uses very little and the thinner the poking device that you use, um, the less unnecessary oil it will carry. This goes to show you how little silicone oil you actually need, right? When you do the poking method, like it's so little, like I've never even finished one of these drops while um, poking the cells into the paintings. Okay, so we'll keep going. You'll notice usually when you do this sort of thing, there's the pool is in the middle. So right in the middle, the struggle to get to the surface. But then as we move on, you'll see they come out a lot faster. Bear in mind, the closer you poke together, the smaller the cells will be because they can't grow any larger. If you notice what we were doing in the beginning, they're getting actually quite big. But it's when the cells kind of the linings meet each other, that's when they stop growing. So keep that in mind for your composition, for the size of the cell. If you want to get a lot of bigger uh, cells that are kind of interspersed in the painting, just don't poke so closely together. And after you've done this for a good, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, you should have your spiral composition ready. Just a mandatory spin to show it off. And yeah, how cool is this? Thanks for watching this video on poking cells into your paintings. 
If you want to learn acrylic pouring from one comprehensive source, consider checking out my Acrylic Pouring for Beginners online course. You can find that on my website at gpours.com. You can also find the link below in the description box. See you guys in the next video.